Parker, uh, you're heading into game three of the Calder Cup playoffs here for you and the Moose. Just take me through uh, how you saw the last game play out for you guys. Obviously a big overtime win. Just how did you see it play out? Yeah, a big bounce back game for us. I thought, uh, you know, we, we started really well and then um, hit a little adversity, but we just stuck with it, um, you know, right to the finish. Big goal at the end and uh, we were able to get it done early in overtime. You were on the ice, of course, for Cole Myers' game tying goal. What was that like? I mean, seeing that play go in. I mean, obviously a great set play by you guys to get the bounce off the boards and get Cole obviously to bury that. But what was that like seeing that uh, that emotional moment uh, on the ice there with your teammates? Yeah, I mean, it was really cool. Like it was last minute of the game, um, tying it up like that. Uh, it was cool. I mean, when you're in situations like that, you're just trying to get pucks to the net, and uh, we were fortunate to get a bounce and Mizey, uh finished it off pretty nice there. What sort of adjustments did you guys make though between games one and two? You know, talking to the guys post game, you know, the chances were there. It looked like you were, you know, challenging Askarov a little bit, but it was just, I guess, the execution. Just what do you think was the biggest change there between games one and two that led to the more positive result for you and the team? Yeah, we talked about game one, and we didn't really think the score was reflective of how we played. Uh, we liked bits and pieces of our game. It was, like you said, it was more just about executing um, for a full 60. And uh, in game two, I thought we, we executed really well. Uh, you're a guy who's also just coming fresh off the NCAA playoffs as well for hockey. So, you know, after playing a full season over there, playoff hockey, and now more playoff hockey with the Manitoba Moose, how's the body feeling? And I guess just the, the NCAA playoffs uh, prep you for this as well. Yeah, I mean, playoff hockey is the best hockey. It's the most fun. Um, it, it's why you play the game. And um, I'm just excited, you know, to play a series in college. It was all one and done for me. And um, playing a series is a little different. And um, but I've just I've had lots of fun doing it. What are some of the adjustments you have to make for a series? Because, you know, it's like you said, it's the same battles over and over again, same goaltenders, you know, pretty much the same lineups. What sort of adjustments do you have to make to, you know, face an opponent that many times in a row? Yeah, I, I don't I don't know if it's as many adjustments. It's more just sticking to it, um, you know, executing, like I said. And um, But it really just comes down to battling for the guys in the locker room. That's something we talked about, and uh, we don't want to let each other down. You yourself, I mean, you've been in the organization now and with the Moose for, you know, just over a month now as well. Just how are you finding your time in Winnipeg and your adjustment to the program overall? It's been great. I mean, ever since I got here, all the guys have been really nice. And, um I feel like I'm starting to fit in a little bit more, getting more comfortable on the ice with the game. And, um, you know, it's, it's just been really fun, especially playoff hockey. And now the series, of course, shifts to Milwaukee. What are you expecting from the Admirals again after a tough game, too, for your guys? Uh, just what are you expecting here and what should be a, a fun game three here tonight? Yeah, I mean, we're, we're probably going to get their best here, a big pushback from them. And um, hopefully we can come out, have a good start and, um, you know, just play a good 60.